Now let's take a look at the task list template at SharePointDashboards.com. For this template, you need to begin by downloading the list template from the link provided. This will download a small file to your desktop, which you can then upload to your list templates gallery. Once you've loaded that to your list templates gallery, you will be able to add this list to your site. In your site, in order to use that list template, you do need to switch from the modern to the classic SharePoint view. Click on the return to classic SharePoint, then add an app. And if you scroll through, you will be able to find the list template which you've uploaded. SPDB task list. Now that you have that list, it will have all of the necessary fields so that you can then apply the template. There are theme options you can select from. Start by browsing those options to see some different variations on the look and feel. For this example, I'm just going to use the first set of options, but in your own environment, you can configure the colors, the font, and then even select your own status icons. When you're ready, click the copy button then go over to your SharePoint view, go to the view selector, format the current view, click on advanced mode, and paste in your code. When you start out, you'll have a blank task sheet. If you don't see a blank task sheet, you can just add one and fill in the title. There's the item I added below. Note that this template allows you to interact completely from the list view. You never have to use the edit form at all. You'll see a green highlight around the box and areas that I can change. And then as I click into these options, you'll see the interface update. You can add some or all of the fields according to what you need. The due date will change according to whether the date is before or after the current date. Therefore, if you have a late task, it's going to be in a red color. Priority can be high, medium, or low. Your tasks are sorted first by the priority and then by the due date. For status, you can indicate whether there's some progress, whether the task is on hold, and then eventually, when your task is done, you can mark it as complete. All of the complete tasks will go down to the bottom of the list. Notice that as I add items to the list, they're automatically sorted for me. So these are going to be reshuffled automatically as I add them and as I make updates. For example, I'll say that this is high priority and I'll make take out the trash medium priority. Notice it automatically reordered those items. The assign to is going to show a bubble picture of the person assigned as long as that person has a picture loaded in the profile. Otherwise, you'll get a generic um, head picture. 
If you need to clear out an item, you can just click on the delete button, which clears out the task. This will allow for up to 10 tasks per task list. Of course, you will have more tasks and you'll be using this in many situations. What you should do is continue to ask, add more task board, boards by clicking on the new button and simply entering in a title. So for example, I could say product expansion part two. And those will just continuously get added down below. Notice you have a progress bar that's automatically updated according to the number of tasks and the amount of tasks that have been completed. I hope you enjoy that template and that's it for our task list tutorial.